Ladies and gentlemen, give a Gilda's Club welcome for Mr. Matt Loria. Keep it going for Jerry Donovan, Pyramid Scheme. Keep it going for yourselves for free tickets here tonight. What I'm talking about. Laugh Fest, I'm happy as hell to be here. A lot of comedians want to open up for Jim Gaffigan, Whoopi Goldberg. Nope, I want to follow the guy with a cock on his forearm. This is my kind of show. Put me in the only place in Grand Rapids that's more hipster than a Hot Topic. There's a lot of old people that don't even know what the fuck that means whatsoever. Stay with it here tonight. I'm happy as hell to be here. It is awesome. Uh, about two and a half years ago, I went out and got me one of those things that everybody's always talking about, a girlfriend. <laughs> and it just took me up until about a month ago until I committed to the Facebook in a relationship with. I didn't even know how to begin to ask a girl to be in a relationship on Facebook. Am I supposed to get down on one knee with a laptop? <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you this for so long. Confirm. Or ignore. If you just want to poke, that's okay too. Just want to poke. That joke really didn't young it up either. For I tried to make it all right though, and I was like, listen, we could be in a relationship on MySpace. And she's like, that's disgusting. I was like, yeah. That side is quite creepy. Uh, no one is on MySpace anymore. MySpace is so abandoned and decrepit. MySpace is the internet's Detroit, ladies and gentlemen. It is. What? Is the area code here? Who oh, gets offended by that in Grand Rapids? It's like, I know a cousin over there. That pisses me off. I can't stand uh, to argue with females here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what it is about your vaginas that make you not make any sense in an argument. But I can't. Did somebody just woo that? We're not wooing the right part of the vagina, I don't think. I like the arguing kind. Now what I can't stand the most is the way that I have to argue with her because you girls have words that just stop a male's brain. My girlfriend's favorite word, whatever. <laughs> Let me finish my sentence. No, whatever, I want to finish. Second favorite word, nothing. What's wrong? Nothing. Damn it, I know there's something wrong. <laughs> Third favorite word, fine. Fine does not mean fine, though. Fine means, okay, I'll go but I'll torture you for the rest of your fucking life for bringing me to this place. Do you like this restaurant? Yeah, it's fine. Damn it. What's wrong? Nothing. Will you just talk to me? No, whatever. I hate my life. That's exactly why Chris Brown reacted the way he did. I'm not making many friends here. So. on anybody's umbrella, Ella, Ella, hey. You have no fucking idea what We did not come to the Teen Bop comedy show. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I'm not up here supporting domestic violence, I promise. I've given up on domestic violence so much, I hate even watching it on television. Like, I've given up watching those Steve Wilkos and Maury Povich shows. Because you always want to feel so bad for these poor girls. But they always have the same lame ass excuses. Maury's always sitting there with him and he's like, listen, honey, you're on national television, embarrassing your entire family. Why are you still with this guy? And here comes their same lame ass excuse. You don't know him. He was not like this when we first met. How did you think your first meet and greet was going to go? <laughs> What's up, baby? My name's Matt. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I'm just trying to show you what it's going to be like. <laughs> Dance forever, ever, ever, forever, ever. I just, I'm sorry, sir. I had to say this word. That is the baddest ass wolf t shirt I've ever seen in my entire life. It's, it's like a kitten in a basket. How the fuck did you dress him tonight? on a Tuesday and I already have to wear that thing. <laughs> you fucked up this week! We're wearing the crew neck sweatshirt with a kitten inside of it to a comedy show in the second row. That's the fucking doghouse. Oh, Hopefully I just got you laid tonight, Tim. <laughs> She shook her head. She's like, we haven't done that in years. I dig it. This is like my favorite section. Now. It's awesome. It's like everybody else in double ARP. It's my favorite section. Oh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell that yet. Um, I'm a moron. I, I can't spell anything. Like, any time I type something into Google, I'll get that same condescending shit back from Google. Did you mean... titties with three T's? Thank you, Google. I don't know where I'd be in my life if it wasn't for spell check, but sometimes I'm so stupid, I manage to beat the spell check. Have you guys ever been so wrong on a word that you'll right click on it and it's like, ah, no suggestions. <laughs> it's just like, you got me, buddy! <laughs> Which is incredible because I know every word, but you're not close to fucking one of them. <laughs> Sometimes you're just a little bit off and I'll try helping you out. It's like, uh, I don't know, dinosaur? <laughs> Dynasty? Any other shit on this list looking familiar, buddy? <laughs> now, let me get this paper clip here on a bicycle here to see if he can help me out. <laughs> they get it. They don't. <laughs> I'm from that group of people that uh, can't do anything. Like, literally can't do any sort of like mechanic or anything with your hands. It's called 20-somethings. It's, it's awful. I always feel bad, too, because like my dad and stepdad can do everything with their hands, like a mechanic and a painter, and it's like I can show them the best free porn websites. And... <laughs> but that's it. I, I, I just bought an Ikea dresser, and it's like, well, I hope dad comes over, because that bitch isn't getting built. <laughs> My dad always tries to convince me, though. He did teach me how to do some things. He's always, like, trying to re-encourage me. He's like, you know I taught you how to do some stuff. Like, I taught you how to change your own oil. It's like, that. you never taught me how to change your own oil. It's like, yeah, I did. I taught you how to change your own oil. It's like, no, Dad. You taught me how to hold the light and get yelled at. It's like, <laughs> I learned. Do we have any fans of uh, hip hop music here in the audience here tonight? That sounded very white of us. I'm a fan of hip hop, but I'm not a fan of like a lot of new school hip hop. Like if we were to compare things, like I like Fresh Prince and not Will Smith all that much. If, dude, if you took every single like, if you took all the music and every lyric that Will Smith says out of his songs, this is my impression of a Will Smith song. Ha <laughs> What? What? Woo! Ha ha! Uh, uh. Woo! I was just gonna see how long I could do that. <laughs> that is awesome! Uh, I'm kind of uh, becoming absolutely ridiculous here right now. Like, I, uh, I made the mistake the other day, um, going on vacation, and I was like, you know what I can do here? I'm gonna get that nice base tan. If 
before I go on vacation, which is the dumbest fucking idea I've ever come up with in my life. Because I've never been to a tanning salon, right? And how it worked for me is I shelled out like 10 bucks for one tanning session. Then this lady hands me this big vat of oil and these ridiculous sunglasses that suck my eyeballs in the back of my head. To run in front of everybody, she asked me, are you going to tan naked? I don't know, what's it to you? She goes, well, make sure you wrap it. Wrap what? And she literally goes, your penis. Like, listen, lady, I don't have any penis fucking wrapping paper on me. What am I wrapping my penis with? She goes, use your sock. I mean my sock. Never had a sock on this in my life. What? How the hell does she know, right? So then she sends me the two foot by two foot room. I put on the whole vat of oil, the ridiculous sunglasses, then I put a sock around my dick with a green freshener around the end. Now I look like some ridiculous superhero. I'm sorry, that's not accurate at all. I feel like Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And the whole time I'm in there, I'm thinking this has to be probably the most awkward experience I've ever had with any sort of sock, right? Unless, unless you like to count the fact that I like to leave my socks on during sex. Everybody thinks that's so awkward. And I'm like, what the hell do you care? It's just me alone on my computer, anyways. This <laughs> concerns you at all. I start to get mad now about really stupid things, like I can't stand fast food anymore. You guys remember when fast food was like, listen, it's not the greatest tasting thing in the world, but you don't have to get in your car to eat it, so just eat it and shut up. Now it's all cocky. Have you seen Wendy's new slogan? Wendy's, it's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. Easy, redhead. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Are you still putting shit in a bag and handing it to me through a drive thru window? Because I'm pretty sure it's fast food. I don't care how square you make your burgers. <laughs> the only place I can't complain about, though, whatsoever, has got to be Taco Bell. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe you can testify to this. What is it about 3M and tequila that makes that risk of a DUI sound like such an awesome idea? <laughs> Everybody's like, dude, don't do it. It's right next to the cop station. And it's like, no, dude, I haven't had my fourth meal. They'll understand. <laughs> I made the mistake of actually going inside a Taco Bell the other day, and that is really the worst experience ever. I went to the counter, and the lady's like, is this for takeout for the dining room? <laughs> dining room. <laughs> Sorry, did you guys get waitresses? I can't even imagine. Who would that be like? Excuse me, sir. Just wanted to see how your 89 cent nacho was. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Eat it. <laughs> the worst part about going inside of Taco Bell is that you might actually have the off chance of seeing your food be made. It was really, really awful to wreck my Taco Bell experience. Every time I'm in a Taco Bell, I'm all excited. I'm like, I just spent like 10 bucks and got like 47 things. It's absolutely incredible. I'm like, dude, I can't wait for this, man. I can't believe I got like 47 things for $10. This is going to be so good, man. I can't. Okay, you get a bunch of fire sauces. I'll get the miles. We have so much fun. It's going to be awesome. Then you do a little two-step for the left and you take a look back there. You're like, this is going to be so good, man. I can't seriously wait for this. Man. this <laughs> Dude, there's a cock gun back there. <laughs> That's a cock gun right there. That's sour cream. Oh, I'm still eating it. <laughs> Cancel my dino order, honey. I'm gonna be in the men's bathroom on the handicap stall. Cause that's how fast Home Depot sour cream runs through. <laughs> right when Lang started, uh, Taco Bell made my job a hell of a lot easier when they came out with the shrimp taco. Would anybody admit to that in a room full of people that 
they've ordered a shrimp taco here tonight? No, why would you do that? Ooh. Wow, that was a female. <laughs> Please enjoy those bubble guts, ma'am. That is incredible. I can't even imagine what that would be like, like through the drive-thru. Just like, uh, welcome to Taco Bell, can I take your order? Yeah, let me try one of those shrimp tacos. <laughs> Becky, somebody ordered it! <laughs> toilet paper and go with that. We're gonna give you 700 napkins. Thank you guys so much, Pyramid Steve. You guys have been a wonderful